let us take a look at OAuth2 roles. So a role is the entity that has a specific responsibility in the OAuth framework, and OAuth has four roles. So the first is the resource owner. This is an entity capable of granting access to a protected resource. When the resource owner is a person, it is referred to as an end user. We have the authorization server, the server issuing access tokens to the client after successfully authenticating the resource owner and obtaining authorization. The authorization server may be the same server as the resource server or, the, or a separate uh, entity. A single authorization server may issue tokens, access tokens accepted by multiple resource servers. We have the client, so this is an app making protected resource requests on behalf of the resource owner with its authorization. The term client does not imply implementation characteristics, so we're not talking about server, desktop, or, or other device here. And then we have our resource server, so the server hosting the, the protected resources, capable of accepting and responding to protected resources requests using access token. So this is basically what was described um, in that authorization document. Notice they call it an authorization server, but you're still doing authentication. So those terms, authentication, authorization, kind of get muddled a lot, okay?